Hello, everyone. Welcome to It's a Long Story. Uh, normally, a thrice weekly campaign set in the beautiful world of Imea, uh, but today we are trying something new. Uh, we are here with our group uh, testing out uh, a brand new game uh, called Candela Obscura. You may or may not have heard of it. Uh, this is our wonderful group of friends who have decided to do our uh, uh, to help out in our little playtest. So I'll say, uh, everybody, go ahead and take a look at the camera and wave and say hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, so uh, in this playtest, obviously, uh, there's going to be some things that we're just kind of learning how to be able to play the game, uh, myself included. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to kind of get through it and be able to kind of tell the story that we want to. Um, this will be a little bit of a different sort of taste as we are diving uh, deep into uh, the life and times of the turn of the century, 1901, uh, in North Shore, Massachusetts. So, without further ado, we will get started. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get uh, Anders back in. Uh, let's begin. So, we join our, our first member way, way back, way before the, uh, we'll say the group ever knows each other as Candela Obscura. Uh, we are coming down to, it's again, it's 1901, so it's turn of the century. We have uh, uh, the, we have a kind of coming into a space of a dark, rainy night. Um, you can hear uh, the pitter patter of the rain on this cement walkway as a, uh, awning that has like a yellowing sort of sign uh, sits across uh, uh, I'm going to say you said you were Lynn right so I'm going to say Summer Street uh, the uh, oh gosh sorry there we go uh, so we see the sign as we as we kind of zoom in. We see that it kind of uh, written in these uh, this like very bold sort of uh, painted in uh, space. It says Coe's Butcher Shop, uh, Butcher Shop and Delicatessen. Uh, we see in the window pane we can see some uh, some men inside looking like they're kind of closing up shop, getting things ready uh, uh, to be able to open for the next day. Uh, as we kind of zoom in uh, through the window. All right. All right. So we got, let's see, we got pork loin for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, we got, let's see, uh, the, we have the bags. Genie. Yeah, I got the bags and the tenderloins. They're all ready to go, Jeannie. I told you. It's, it's, I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm just, you know, I'm used to having to do all this stuff myself here. You know. Yeah. So. I know. You, you complained. Uh, you said you needed help. I came back. I'm here. I'm helping you. I don't. I don't know what you need. All right. Uh, Let's just. Did you, did you check on Ma today? Did you? Did you? Did you talk to her? I'm gonna. Can I close up shop first, and then I'll have my way over there. All right. Uh, all right. Hey, have you have you talked to Huey today? No. I thought he was here this morning, wasn't he? Yeah, but he was supposed to... He, he just, like, jumped out earlier today. I don't know what was going on. He said you know he was going to come man. back. You know him. He's probably out running the streets. Probably went out one of the islands. I don't know. You know, nobody likes yeah. being here except for you. Yeah, well, there wouldn't be a place here if it wasn't for me, so... Uh, listen, okay, last thing. Uh, if you want me to go visit Ma, can you candle the trash and you take it out back? Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's fine. Hey, I was thinking, uh, I haven't seen him in a while, but if I see, uh, Sinclair, you good if I give him the, give him a roast yeah, beef yeah, sandwich yeah. or something? Okay. That's I fine. Just... Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, go ahead and take the, uh, yeah, the roast beef. It's fine. 
Okay. I'm gonna grab that's that's going bad anyways. Yeah, I mean, what else are we gonna do with it? <laughs> um, so CB, you uh, head out back, back into the pouring rain. Um, you see, there's a there's a very small kind of awning in the uh, back sort of alleyway. Um, you can see a uh, there's a, a, there's a bunch of trash that is piled up from other businesses that are around, um, broken down crates, things like that. Um, you hear the uh, you hear the sound of the rain uh, and the crackling of thunder in the background. Um, as you're kind of throwing down the trash, you're taking a second just to kind of lean against the wall just to see if you happen to come by uh, your, uh, well, you happen to come by Sinclair. Um, as you're leaning back against the brick wall, you hear the thunder crash. And from the camera's point of view, there's a little bit of just a, just a slight sort of jolt. So we see CB kind of just pull himself back slightly. Uh, CB, how long has it been since you've been back? Uh, two years. Two years. It's been, uh, it's been rough, but yeah. I'll say at this moment, as we're kind of leaning against the, uh, the lantern light that you're just kind of like lighting underneath the awning just to make sure that you kind of have some light as you're looking out for uh, as you're looking out for uh, uh, for Sinclair uh, go ahead and tell uh, the folks at home what we see um, so I'm about 34 35 30 eh, I forget sometimes uh, I guess about 32 years um, and uh, you know, I spent a good decade in the military and, you know, I, I like to keep things neat. I, I still wear, you know, the browns, khakis. It's just comfortable no matter whether it's hot or it's cold. Kind of lean. Uh, forearms are, are and, and biceps are a little bit muscular from all the swinging on the butcher shop, cutting through bones and ham hocks and all of that. Um, and just, just tired. I mean, it's cold. It's rainy. I just kind of keep to myself. Yeah. Um, as you're sitting uh, back there watching, uh, watching kind of like towards near the street, you happen to see a figure start to kind of walk by. Um, uh, you see a long uh, dress. Uh, everything's kind of just black against the, like, the only occasional light that you're seeing is obviously from your lantern and the, uh, and the crash of thunder. Uh, walking by, you see uh, what looks to be a, a female form in a long uh, gown uh, holding a umbrella. And you see uh, right about to the... Uh, kind of see this like towards the end of the alley you see uh right about right in the middle of uh walking from wall to wall uh you see her umbrella uh kind of pulls back and kind of breaks open uh, uh pulling to the other side um you see oh, oh this damn thing miss miss get over here get out of the rain get it come on get over here oh, no thank uh, no, thank no, no, you no, no it's, it's fine. fine it's miss uh, it's no. it's pouring out there come on it's, it's quite alright. Oh, see? I got it open. Now you see her kind of pull it back and, and you see her just kind of run off into the night. What's her problem? Uh, you hear another crash. Where is this guy? As you were sitting there, um, Continuing to kind of wait. You start to notice that the the sounds of thunder, as you would normally hear them, you would normally see them kind of backed up with the lightning. You hear more thunder than lightning. You hear the thunder itself seem to take a slightly different tone. 
almost like cannon fire. You at the butcher shop. Everything's fine. You're outside, you're home. You're good. Everything's everything's good. Lots of horses around here. That ain't. It's fine. Man, if he doesn't show up soon, I'm gonna eat this sandwich myself. Genie, take the keys with him. I don't. Fine. Uh, do I see anybody around me? Is there like people walking? I know the weather's rough. Uh, looking around, you don't see anyone. But uh, if you would like to make a, uh, let's see, let's call it a, let's call it a. Uh, survey roll. Okay. That is a one. Okay. You don't see anyone. You feel like the... It's been a while since the lightning has kind of taken shape and showing anything else appearing. Sound of horse is, is not unknown in this town. Yeah. It's probably some of them folks up from uh, up from Beacon Hill just coming over, looking at us folk over here. They'll be fine. What you do here? That's not it. That's different. I'll say it first, CB, you, you do hear that it kind of came from the space on the, the main street between, some, we'll say somewhere in Boston Street, um, yeah. where you saw that, that uh, younger woman passing by. Yeah, so I think I, I pull my hat down low and, and kind of curl up as best I can uh, and run out with the, actually slowly walk to the corner and look down the street. I don't want to be caught out in this by myself. As you, as you look out onto the street, you can feel the wind immediately kind of whipping in your face as you see, you know, you're kind of having to shield the lantern against the rain. Like, um, looking down, you don't see anything right now. You know that there's a couple other alleyways around this area. And for a young woman walking alone, this is not the greatest of neighborhoods. I think I immediately go into tr what I've been trained to do, uh, knowing that there's a back alley on the other side and the way she was walking. Um, I think I swing back down the alley, uh, stop at the butcher shop and reach in the back uh, and grab, um, we'll say a cleaver that's right there. Okay. Um, and just kind of hold it to my side and then double back around the other side. So, um, are you trying to hide this from your brother who's closing up shop? I don't think I even, I think I just reach in and like whatever I can reach with an arm with the door open. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think I'll, I'll make a big deal. He could say something. I'm going to keep going. Okay. I think as you hear the, the door uh, kind of like uh, close behind you. Uh, hey, see. That's all you go. Yeah, uh, and I think I'll, I'll run to the end of it. Uh, so we'll say if she went to the right of me, I'll go to the other end and turn left. Okay. I would know. I would. I would imagine I would be sneaking up behind somebody if they confronted her face to face. Mm. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll say in this point. Uh, go ahead and roll me a 
Uh, give me a focus roll. Okay. Uh, I'm going to throw in uh, a drive on that. Please. So, cool. Two fives. So, five. Nice. Okay. Uh, so, with a five, you, uh, you happen to notice uh, there's... Uh, uh, the rain is kind of uh, washing away any sort of significant footprints, but you happen to notice that in the uh, uh, in the sort of the main street that you're on, you happen to notice that there is a uh, there's a looks like to be like a just like the smallest pile of dirt where you can see a back heel might have shifted and turned and, and walked down into their alley. Uh, I'll say with with that five, you feel. Pretty confident that that is a heel. I, yeah, seeing that, I think he, he does like the crouch run down the alley, up against the wall, sticking to the, you know, I know there's not a ton of light, but if there's any light coming out of any windows, candles, lanterns, um, I think he'll try and avoid those. Okay. You got it. So not stealthy, but crouched. All right. You, um, as you're running around, you're getting to a corner where you are about to, uh, you get into a corner where you know that anything past this, you probably wouldn't have heard this as loud as you did. So mm -hmm. in your mind, this, it's either this corner or I've lost the, I've lost the mark. I back up against the wall. Uh, it takes a really deep breath. Just always first. Just be the first one there. And I think he spins and right in the middle of the street. I think he's out and looking. Okay. Uh, as you spin going around that corner, uh, uh, do you have your, like, um, are you ready? Do you feel like you have your, uh, your kind of like, uh, is it raised? Yeah. Behind oh, you? yeah. It's, it's definitely he's in like the boxer pose. Okay. Love it. Um, spinning around that, that corner, you see, uh, you do see a figure that, um, just as the lightning cracks one more time, uh, you see a figure, uh, appear in the, the lightning crash, um, uh, rather tall kind of gaunt figure. Um, I assume kind of like a big sort of maybe open cloak. Um, can't really see the face. Hey, hey, you. It, you! You hear me? The figure takes a step towards you. Do they look like they're facing me? Mm -hmm. okay. Say they're about maybe like yeah, 10 feet away. Uh, sorry, uh, 15 feet away from you. Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but you just. Throw that hood back, all right? We'll just talk. Uh, Sinclair, can you please describe your character for us? <clears throat> um, I think within between the lightning strikes, uh, you see a slim individual, probably standing average height, five foot, maybe slightly shorter, five foot nine, five foot ten, very skinny, wearing dirty, tattered clothes, dark gray. Off, uh, if you take a closer look, it's obvious they're not sized to fit him properly, but they're patched and they're holy. Wearing a rather large hat true to the times newsboy style still wearing a bow tie though and absolutely covered in bandages to the point where you can only see the openings of his eyes and his mouth I imagine if he's standing before CB in this moment CB would come to him with that flash of lightning and just go, 
in a moment of absolute like fear and guttural sort of like primal you know not wanting to get beat up in this moment uh, Jesus take Christ, a second CP, but yeah, you recognize Sinclair. Jesus Christ, Sinclair. What, what are you doing? Um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, we're walking. Trying to stay dry. Did, did you see a woman come over here? A woman? No, yeah. I didn't, no, I didn't Young. see any uh, I didn't see any woman. I just I've, I've been just focusing on me. I was just coming to see if I could get one of those gnarly sandwiches that you sometimes. Yeah, you know, yeah, man. And, I can... uh, do you got, Did you, you hear got a gunshot? sandwich? Did you hear, I hear a gunshot? Yeah. Um, roll me a. Uh... Roll me a focus check. Uh... Sinclair. Focus? Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to use one of my gilded dice this time. Alright. Uh, five. Five? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you did uh, You did hear a lightning strike that you're... It, it did sound like it was a little close. Um, and maybe a little bit higher pitched. Um, you're not entirely sure if it was a gunshot, but... Uh, would I know enough to, like, be able to maybe tell? Like, if it's close, do I know the general direction to go in? Um, no. I'd say not with a five. Okay. I, I heard a, uh, I heard, like, a lightning strike that sounded a little, little off. But, I mean, I don't know about a gunshot, particularly. I, it is... This fucking shit's crazy in here. I, I don't know what's going on. All right, man. Well, Sinclair, let's let's just get back to the shop, man. We're we're, we're just getting doused out here. All right, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Say, man, how, how are you? you? You all right? I'm fucking getting back to back alley sandwiches in a stormy weather. I'm doing fucking great. I'm doing just fucking. You know. Well, hey, you nearly got life. stabbed, so consider yourself You're, lucky today. Th oh, thank you so much, Mr. Man, for not stabbing me. I should be grateful not to get stabbed in a, in a okay. thunderstorm. Okay, Sinclair, I told you. It's CB, all right? You can just call me CB, all right? Oh, you, um, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, most people don't let me call them, like, by their names. They mostly just tell me to scram here and there. You know. yeah, it's Not so good up. with people. Uh, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, you know, St. Clair, I found you're pretty good with people. It's your face that's the problem. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. and that, I'm that, fucking... That I'm, I'm fucking cherries with people, let me tell you. I'm fucking... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, you know, God gave me, you know, had me take on the challenge of life with this. Otherwise, I'd be ruling the world. Let me tell you what. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you and you and me both, Sinclair. Uh, so uh, you are looking for a, a, a lady out here. Uh, what kind of ladies out? What kind of ladies are you seeing out in storms nowadays? Yeah, I, I don't know. I was, I was behind the shop. I was waiting on you. Hadn't seen you in a while, and she comes by, and umbrellas all tore up in the wind, and then she's gone. She didn't want any help, and I swear I heard a gunshot. You saw, you saw a lady in the back alley, and you just let her go off, and the didn't like escort her to the dance or anything like that. Or? No, no, Sinclair, I didn't. Are you sure you're doing all right? You got... No. You, you, you I'm, sound a little I'm, bit more crazier than normal today. I'm doing great. As I said, I'm all cherries over here. I'm, I'm fantastic. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I'll be doing better when I get a sandwich in me, I'll tell you that much right now. 
Yeah, well, it's a sopping mess, but here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I think um, in that moment, Sinclair, just like, you see him not even hesitate. He's just going to eat the sandwich. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's a really good moist roast beef. I really appreciate that, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you could chew it, you know. It's okay. Hey, don't Here. talk about... Don't talk about my chewing. Uh, you hear the, the back door open, and it kind of like just actually bangs into you, Kate. Oh, uh, there you are. What the? Where the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, he... Sinclair, I'm sorry. I. Uh, how's it going, mm. man? You enjoying the sandwich? Yeah, really enjoying the sandwich. I'm really. You got a great ambiance in your back alley here. It's a okay, perfect great. place for a sandwich, let me tell yeah. you. Yeah, sounds like, uh, sounds like paradise. Uh, uh, Kate, can I fucking talk to you for a second? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you just, just wait out here, okay, Sinclair? I don't, yeah. I don't, I, somebody's got to mop the floor up today, and it's not going to be me, all right? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, classic uh like sort of back room doesn't doesn't wait very long i would say sinclair you can probably hear pretty much what's going on uh mm -hmm. in the the conversation you see you... dude where did you go dude did you did you see the woman she walked in front of the shop all by herself what? on this weather no i was close uh what no no i was i was out back like i told yeah. you i was gonna take the trash out but i was waiting on sinclair okay and then I'm there. The rain, the rain's coming down in sheets. All right. This woman, she walked across the alley. Okay. About halfway through the alley, the wind blows her umbrella apart. I ask if she wants help. She says no. She keeps walking. A few minutes later, well, listen. You know, I told what? you I get those spells sometimes. Yeah, I know. Have you been taking your medicine for that? That's. Yeah. Okay. Listen, we're not there yet. All right. So. I had, you know, there was lots of thunder and lightning, but then there, then I heard it. I heard a gunshot. Okay, it was like a next block over on Boston Street. So I come back. This is, I grab. This is not the first time. This is not the first time, Kate. You've you've said it's you've different. Heard gunshots. Okay, it's different. It's different this time. Okay, so I stop by. I reached in. I grabbed the knife here. You can have the knife back. I just thought there was a, a young woman in need. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I just thought if there was a young woman in need. You know, and then I turn a corner, I run into that guy. Okay. I have a name. Oh, yeah, sorry, Sinclair. Uh, closes the oh, closes the the other door that actually closes like the. <laughs> uh, all right, listen. You, you're my brother. I love you. Yeah, I love you too, Jeannie. Just, but I'm worried about you, man. I, it's it's been two years now. Okay, listen. I you don't need to worry. I'm fine. I can handle myself. Okay. I just don't want to have to feel like I have to put a tag on you every time. I can take care of myself. Okay. I told you. I told you what what the colonel told me. Right. I told you that. Yes, you did. Hey. Uh, yeah. Speaking of uh, random people that I don't know too much about, listen. Uh, so weird thing, as you left, which is why I was trying to find you, there was a there was a guy that tried to come in. I said, "No, sorry, we're closed," and then uh, said he had something for you, so he just he just dropped it off. Uh, it's over on the counter. For me? Yeah, for you. Why didn't you say that? Don't worry, he wasn't like dressed up all in like uniform or whatever. Otherwise, I would have told him to get fucked. Yeah, and I. I love you, Jeannie. I love you too. Just, right. Why don't you, you said you were going to go. You go take care of my. You give me the keys. I'll lock up. Listen, I think with this weather, maybe. I know you don't want Sinclair at the house. Maybe he stays here tonight. You know my you know my thing on that, man. I'm I'm fine with giving him as much as you want, but. Okay. I think. Yeah. No. I mean. Let's let's talk tomorrow about it, okay? Oh no. Let's see if he comes back. Uh, while that's happening, though, uh, Sinclair, 
you're hearing uh, definitely like little bits and pieces of this conversation. I'm going to say for the, the sake of uh, uh, time and energy. Oh, good, we're back. Um, we'll say, we'll just say for this, Sinclair, you're hearing most of this conversation. So, okay. Um, okay, uh, coming back. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's, let's talk about it tomorrow. I know, I know, but I can't. I mean, you can't, you can't spring this stuff on me. I got to think about it, okay? Oh, we lost your audio, man. I muted myself. No, okay. you go home. You take care of Ma, all right? And I'll be here. I'll lock up, all right? I'll make sure I get, I, I get him taken care of. You said it's on the counter? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Why don't you... Yeah, you, you go do that, okay? I'll, I'll okay. go check out the letter. All right. Uh, you see him kind of head out to the uh, backside. Sinclair, you see... Um, uh, once again, you, you actually hear you hear the other door opening as you're able to kind of get out of the way as, as uh, the... Let's say the screen door kind of gets pushed open. Okay, Sinclair. Uh, have a good night. Uh, try to stay warm, okay? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'll, I'll be toasty all night. No need to worry about me, old Sinclair. Okay. Hey, <clears throat> um... <clears throat> Listen, uh, I would I would let you you know sleep in the shop, but uh, oh, you're gonna let me? You're gonna you're not? I would, I would, but we have uh, we have inspection coming up, so you know. I I I, <laughs> I get it, I get it. You don't want you don't want to have a bad grade or anything like that, right? Like you, I I'm just I'm just bringing you all down, right? Like I mean, I'm we're, more we're on the fence as it is, man. What you know? I just but uh, but listen, I. Have a good. You always hit. You can always come here and grab f- some food, whatever. So, yeah, um, I, I'm so grateful for the food. I can't ask for anything more, like to sleep in a closet or anything like that. That that'd be asking too much. Or at the basement or somewhere where the inspector definitely wouldn't find me. But I get it. I, def- okay. I would just. I'm gonna stay outside. Yep. Okay. And you see, as this conversation, you see uh, Gene is is inching backwards every few seconds he can. All right. Okay. All right, Sinclair. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta go, yeah. man. You see him just turn. Yeah. You. You stay dry. Yeah. 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 Fucking piece of shit. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sinclair, what do you do here? Do you I do think, you wait for her CB? I think Sinclair. Uh, as soon as he sees the other brother around the corner, I think Sinclair just sort of like goes inside. Um, oh, you go inside the shop? Yeah. Love it. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, you're, uh, okay, cool. I love that. So as you are uh, inside the shop, you're just kind of in the, the back room. Uh, CB, you hear the door open again. Um, I'll say just for the sake of time, you look back and you see, uh, you see Sinclair kind of just you know, kind of coming through. Um, and you see a, uh, you see an, and a very dry uh, uh, eggshell white envelope uh, signed to uh, Mr. Kate Benson Porter. Uh, no return address. Have I ever seen an envelope like this before? You have not. <sighs> Sinclair, don't you stay in the back room, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm just back. I'm just just stay back there, okay? Don't, I'm just I'm I'm don't. looking for a broom as you as you're doing your thing nope, over there. Just, just sit, just sit in the chair, sit in the chair. Uh, I, I'm gonna sit in this chair. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, you guys sit down on like uh, one of the, like those stools, uh, and then open it up and read it. Cool. So you open up the envelope. You're kind of like just tearing it open. I say you you see something kind of drop out of the the card, but uh, as you as you bend down and look at it, you see uh, in unfolding the letter, you happen to see a name that makes you stop what you're doing. And it's the first name that's written on here. Very simple letter, just two sentences, or excuse me, uh, three sentences. 
Uh, first one says, Delano sends his regards. Okay. The rest of it reads very simply. You're not ill, just misinformed. I have a proposition for you to carry your ghosts to rest. Sorry, one more sentence. Uh, uh, meet me at the new ocean house tomorrow noon. There's no name. Hey, hey, Sinclair. Have you you been up to that new ocean house yet? Um. Is the you ocean both, house? You would both. You both know that the new the new ocean house is a, a hotel uh, located in the Swampskip, uh, sort of slightly just north of Lynn. Uh, is uh, right on a an area that actually is uh, still uh, still technically beach. There is a road that is being developed here, um, uh, but uh, the hotel, as far as you know, is somewhat still in development. You haven't seen any. Uh, The road being built, it's hard to actually get anyone to be able to be in the hotel, right? So, um, but you do know it's being built, and it's it's pretty much on its way. No, I, uh, I stay I stay away from there. There's nothing there for me. That's that's off my. It's too far off my path to, to visit there. Why why are you asking? Ah, uh, I. Uh... You know, Huey ran up there the other day. He was telling me about it. They got the roads almost done. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I figured a guy like you, you know, be an easy place to, to get a get a dry night's sleep, maybe. And the, in the hotel, you think I can afford a hotel? Well, I mean, still, they hadn't finished construction on it yet. I mean, you could definitely probably hide out there at night. Nobody would notice. Just an idea, man. I just, 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 just an idea. All right. I'm not, not yeah. pushing him. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Sleeping in my shop, right? And having to deal with my brother tomorrow. He, he's gonna know. I mean, uh, I mean, I could, he, he wouldn't have to know, but I mean, I get, I get what you. I, I can read between the lines. I get it. I, I see what you're doing there. Listen, listen, Sinclair. Mm -hmm. I, I like it. I just want to be honest with you. Hey, that's all right. Hey, I, hey. CB, I like you too, for what it's worth. I, I, you've always done good by me with what you can do. I love it. Uh, the sandwiches, you, no one else has just given me free food out the back. Let me tell you right now. Y'all are, y'all are something else here. And honestly, like, even though I get your brother won't let me stay, but like, I, you're already doing more than I could ask for. Right, like I can't, but like, yeah. I mean, if you think, if you think that this place, the ocean, the ocean house is like, I don't know, so somewhere I can maybe find a place, or maybe I can even find work. Maybe they need someone to hold some dirt. Sinclair, or something. Sinclair, I was just, I was just gonna tell you, you, you smell, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna smell you for the next two days here. Oh, I know, I'm. Oh, I'm very aware of my smell. <laughs> so I'm very. I, I know I smell. Um, it just comes. It comes with the whole thing. Uh, you know, it's just. I don't. I. I can only. They only have access to a shower like once a month in the place I'm sort of staying at. Like, it's so bit. Like, I'm sharing a room with fifteen other fucking people. That's working 16 hours a day. It smells, all of us smell so bad right now. Let me tell you, your butcher shop and the, like, this is paradise compared to, like, where I'm normally staying. You know what I mean? Like, as it's you hear, just. As you hear Sinclair in the, the space of the uh, the ramblings that you you often hear, uh, you look down at the, uh, at the, uh, the item that fell uh, kind of just between the, the seats of the restaurant. Um, can you pick it up? Oh, yeah. Can you pick it up? Uh, you look over and on one side, um, it looks like it's it looks like it's like almost like a playing card. Um, 
you notice on the on the one side of it you see a uh, it, it's not from a game that you're familiar with I don't think um, you notice that there is a uh, on one side is depicted a uh, a a man almost like in like almost kind of like like in Egyptian sort of decoration uh, uh, hands on the on like these reins and then you see these very large wheels on the side um, on either side um, and you notice that there is no uh, there's no like canopy on this it looks uh, but it looks interesting I would say it's it's something that that uh, I don't think you would easily recognize as anything that's your call. No. Uh, turning it over, you see on the side, you just see a uh, an image of a single, um, uh, just uh, a black and white depiction of a uh, a candle that's being held by a uh, it's being held by like a skeletal hand. Uh, At this point, you know it's time to close up shop. Time to get out of here. Yeah. So, Claire, why don't you just come with me, all right? Um, I could uh, use what, the company. Where Where are you going? I'm going to head out to the house, man. You can sleep with the dogs tonight, okay? <laughs> uh, I mean, you trust me to sleep with the dog. I'll sleep with your dogs. Fine. I'll sleep with That's fine. That's better than the pillow I got back at the place, so that's fine. It's it's cold, man. They'll keep you warm. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> we will lock up and leave out the back door. Uh, I don't know if you guys see that I'm frozen on my end for some reason. Mm. Yeah, you're a little frozen. Well, there you go. You're back. Am I back? You are back. I think it's because of this stupid site that I opened. Um, you guys can see me? No, yes. You can see me now. Yep. You're good. Uh, I'm going to refresh my screen here. Oh, boy. Oh, come on, dummy. Well, um, I can see that you guys can see me, so that's good. Uh, we're going to move on. Uh, as you guys kind of head out into the night, um, we are going to uh, switch places here. And uh, there we go. We're back. Um, so we're going to move further uptown uh, into uh, Salem proper. Um, we're actually going to be looking at uh, the... Uh, we're in a space that is uh, the local yacht club. Um, we have a couple of people that are here. Um Uh, in the oh, why my computer is working so hard you guys still see me or am I frozen again you're frozen sorry one second gang Yacht Club music. Okay. All right. I should be back now. All right. We're going to not be hitting anything else, and hopefully it'll be good. It'll work fine. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, coming back, um, we are in a very upscale, very high class sort of place. You see, there is a lot of. Uh, you, you almost feel like you can smell the mahogany uh, in this place. You, um, uh, uh, The Yacht Club itself uh, consists of a big, a big kind of like open floor format uh, with a couple of uh, like uh, a couple of second floors that kind of come up to uh, the side that kind of overlook towards the center sort of dining hall area. Um, over to one side, uh, we see uh, there is a... Uh, it looks like to be some sort of uh, poker game going on. Um, and uh, from one side, uh, we 
uh, are we're looking at uh, a couple people that give the vibe of just a general nefariousness. Uh, you see uh, the scally cap, the vest, everything looks very, very nice and well-dressed, but also very much a dress to impress, almost in a space of what we would look at as like quasi-gangster type. Um, you notice that uh, uh, they're uh, consistently getting drinks uh, served to them um, as uh, this uh, poker game is going on. Uh, by the way, uh, poker is illegal uh, in this uh, time. Um, so this is a uh, very, uh, very hush hush, even though this is at the Yacht Club. Um, so these two gentlemen are kind of facing opposite of each other. Um, but the circular table moves uh, at first to the left hand side, where we see a uh, gentleman who may not be used to playing poker i'm not sure but you see a uh, a uh, uh, glasses that are pushed up to the nose uh some some interesting sort of uh uh facial hair uh we see harlow harlow could you please describe your character for us uh yeah so harlow is uh an old man in his 60s and he looks pretty beat up kind of uh uh and He's, he's tan, bald with, uh, you know, a uh, uh, beard much like this, wearing glasses on his nose. Uh, and uh, generally, he has a sort of distracted look um, and is usually he's, he's found talking to himself. And uh, uh, he's thin, average height and uh, has a, a sort of Baltic Russian kind of look to him. Very cool. Awesome. Um uh, looking at the uh, cards, uh, uh, I'm going to say uh, V, you're also in this scene. Uh, do either, I should have asked this beforehand, do both of you know how to play like Texas Hold'em? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. No. No? Okay, that's all right. That's okay. Uh, so, Harlow, looking at your cards, you see that you have a um, you have a two, three, and a five. Uh, excuse me, a two, Jesus. <laughs> Apparently, I don't either. Uh, you, have a two, <laughs> you have a two and a three of diamonds. Um, um, uh, looking at the, uh, current setup on there, you see that there is a, uh, there's another diamond, um, on there. I say it's the, uh, we'll say, uh, queen. Um, and you see there is a, uh, say a, I should probably write this down, huh? Just try to be cool with this. No, I will say I can do this. Uh, queen of diamonds. Uh, and we'll say that there is a, a king of spades. And then uh, there's also another three. Uh, the three is a three of hearts. Uh, so it is uh, It is on you. Uh, there is uh, nothing in the pot except for the ante. Mm-hmm. So uh, he kind of habitually stares at his, his arm a little bit and... Uh, uh, I mean, for uh, two two dollars. But I don't know what the chips are or what we're, you know. I would say I would just, say probably it, no chips, like literal. Two dollars just literal seems like for nineteen hundred seems a fair amount to put oh, something yeah. in on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. Cool. Uh, two dollars. You see. Uh, uh the. Uh, uh, goes to the right, right? Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's been a while since I've played Texas Hold'em. Um, so you see the uh, the uh, the gentleman to your right uh, just immediately folds his cards. Um, and looking across, uh, we see a uh, a woman dressed up in uh, very similar regalia to what the two men are dressed up as. Uh, I would say probably hat off. Um, uh, v, could you please describe your character for us? So V is wearing a well-tailored suit with a vest. A, I think it's called a bolero. Um, she does have a fedora too, um, but it's definitely not clothes that a woman typically wears. She has like long brown hair that's a little curly and a little frizzy because of all the rain out. And she is drinking and enjoying herself as she's 
snubbing the tradition and playing poker, as is her way. Uh, cool. Um, looking at your cards, uh, we'll say, uh, we'll just make it simple. Uh, you have uh, two kings. Um, uh, that's a decent hand. So you have uh, uh, three of a kind on the, on the table right now. Um, I'd say you have the, we'll say for this outside of perspective, you have the upper hand here. Um, and you would you would know that having pocket kings. Um, so we'll say you have a uh, king of hearts and a king of uh, diamonds. Uh, and the uh, call to you is uh, $2. So you can either call or raise or fold. So call is staying. She, and, yeah, go ahead. She'd kind of smile over at Harlow and be like, I'll call that. Two dollars is fine, and she'd throw the money in. Good. I could use some new lab equipment. I could use some more drink and money. Awesome. Uh, on the uh, uh, moving on further to the right, I'm gonna open this up, and hopefully things aren't gonna crash again. Um, Uh, Veronica, actually, you tell me as I'm looking through this. Uh, so you got a couple of people this could be. Who's over to your right? You make the call. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Let me pull it up on my phone because I don't want my computer to crash by pulling it up. It's oh, okay. the younger brother who's always a partier. Vaughn, I think I... Vaughn? Uh, I think Vinny looks like is the youngest. Vaughn's Vinny. The Vinny. Vinny, yeah, it's Vinny. Okay, got it. Um, great. Uh, we'll say, just uh, go ahead and give me a description of what Vinny looks like. Uh, Vinny looks, you can see they're definitely related. They have similar facial features. He has brown curly hair, but it's short and cropped. So you think curls, her curls might just be natural curls. Um, he, she looks to be in her early twenties. He looks a little bit older. Um, but he's also wearing a similar well-tailored suit you know the mobster gangster style tailoring and um also matching her drink for drink okay but he's also keeping a very close eye on her a little protective mm -hmm. all right um well uh this is a real a little rich for my blood but i'll uh Kind of my sister making all my money. I'll, I'll call. Uh, uh, you better. You can't back out now, Vinny. You see uh, the uh, the next card turn over, um, and you see it is a uh, it is a four of diamonds. So Harlow, it's your it's on you. So, at the core concept of psychical energy lies a holistic paradigm that challenges reductionist viewpoints. It suggests that the human oh experience cannot be so... <sighs> uh, Three dollars. <laughs> this man, am I right, Vinny? Old folks uh, in their words. You see Vinny is not looking at you. Vinny is looking at Harlow. What I'm trying to say is that there exists an intricate interplay between the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual dimensions. The holistic perspective acknowledges that these aspects of human existence are intimately intertwined, influencing and shaping one another, letting me know that she does not have a good head. Mm. Are you done yet? I took a nice nap there while you were talking your ass off. Are you going to call or not? It's, uh, it is not, uh, it mm. is not Vinny's turn, but Vinny is going to say, I'm, I'm out. I'm going to fold. Um, the year call, I'm going to call. Uh, okay. Um, as you, uh, see the river turn over, you guys know where this is going. Uh, it's a five of diamonds. Um, for those who are watching poker, you see the five of diamonds, uh, here but you have the so you have a straight flush on your side harlow um 
but it's the, it's the last card, so you can bet again if you want. Hmm. Well, all things as they should to be, and I bet five dollars. Uh, you feel a you feel two fingers on your shoulder. That is uh, that is Vinny. Yes. Uh, just kind of whispers. All right. Um, I mean, you know, this isn't your money, right? never stopped me before has it okay your call I will call okay you call uh, at this point you flip your cards over you see three kings I actually will say V you, you flip first uh, three kings looks pretty good. You hear a you hear a an audible ooh from the from the crowd that's kind of watching in this. Uh, all right, well, it's been uh, it's been good playing with you. Um, Ready? Let's go. What you mean? We're not done here yet. We got the whole night ahead of us. Uh, Harlow, it's it's your turn to to show your cards. You see, if you trust in your senses beyond the ordinary and he flips the first diamond over you know when something is going to go your way and flips the other diamond over you hear a louder ooh from the crowd um you see uh, a couple of uh, a couple of gentlemen all wearing very similar sort of uh regalia as v um, are, uh, one of them actually kind of like whispers to the other ones and you see a couple of them kind of get up from their chairs and are just watching. Uh, they're about maybe like 20 feet away. Um, uh, it is very clear that Harlow has won this hand. Hmm. It's quite the hand you got there. That's the way the universe flows. You well played. <laughs> The universe, right? Kind of scoops the pile over to him. Okay. As you're scooping, you feel a good amount of leering eyes on you. Um, uh, I think actually you probably see uh, you see a, another uh, character of uh, V's troop uh, kind of puts a hand into the pile before it goes all the way to How about we, we play one more hand? I don't know if you want to be leaving just yet. Well, uh, I, 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 I'll play another hand, but th that is still my money. Looks like to me it's in the middle of the table. That's not how the game works. That doesn't stay in the pot. So if I win the money, I win the money, and then you can bet more. This is an American game, right? You, you, you all should know how this works. <laughs> you see leaning in closer. I suggest you keep it in the pot. Um, at this moment, you hear there is a uh, there is a little bit of a scuffle downstairs. As there's a there's a uh, moment where I think Harlow and uh, we'll say this is this is Virgil um, uh, V. Um, Virgil. So uh, uh, they're both kind of locking eyes as we hear this commotion. This commotion kind of gets a little louder. You hear Virgil. Oh, what the fuck? You stay here. Um, and uh, gets up and moves over to the side. Um, you all pretty much can have a pretty relatively some view of what's going on. Um, you see there is a, uh, a younger looking gentleman who is uh, kind of walk, who has walked in, um, uh, looks to be uh, being somewhat like uh, uh, being asked to leave uh, in um, a very uh, in a very rough manner. And you hear him just shouting, okay, no, 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 okay, yeah, 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 no, I'm gonna leave. I just, I have to, listen, guys, I don't wanna, I don't wanna fight you right now. I just have a message. I have two messages. I just have to leave both of these and then I can go. 
play. I, listen, no, I, I know he's going to walk up behind Virgil because she doesn't listen to him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Virgil's like kind of up front. So I say you can kind of like, so this is, this is happening down below. So you're kind of like mm -hmm. up on the, like sort of like kind of platform above. Um, but you can kind of like come down the stairs if you want to. Yeah. She'd make her way down after her brothers. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. So Virgil comes down and goes, all right. Uh, what seems to be the, the problem here? Uh, chap, this is a, this is a private party. Yes, I, 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 I totally understand. I get it. Um, but let's, let, I, okay. Yeah. You, um, and points to, uh, points to UV. I swear, Virgil, I didn't do nothing. No, no. It, and you see, you see for at the side of that, you see Virgil actually like pull out a gun and he just goes, oh, buddy, this is not the place. That... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I don't She's know not... him, Virgil. Okay. Yeah. No, we're, we're good. Listen, I don't, I come in peace. I'm, I'm screwing up the accents now. I, uh, <laughs> I come in peace. Uh, just have two letters. Look, there's, you see him like kind of flip his hand and from his wrist, like two letters kind of come out. I have two. Uh, one is for the woman right over there. You can check it out if you want to, but I suggest giving it to her first. She looks like she knows she can take care of things for herself, maybe. But she kind of puts it uh, puts it in the coat pocket of Virgil, who has put the like gun like kind of right up under his chin. Uh, Who's the other one for? Is there a is there a Mister Mister Dweeka here? Mister Dweeka or Dweeka? Dicker. Dicker. Mr. Dicker? Uh, close enough. Okay. Yes. Could you, could you, let's, I, okay. Could you Oh, he's it? not done playing our game and she's going to swipe his card out, okay. out of his hand. Okay. Um, yeah. Just make sure he gets that. Um, otherwise. He'll play for it, I think. Does nobody here understand how this game works? <laughs> Uh, you see that? You see it that uh, Virgil goes. All right, you made your uh, you made your point. Now get out of here, and just kind of uh, shoves him out into the street. All right. Uh, She's just gonna try to pull her card out of Virgil's and go towards yeah. the bar. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, let's pick a roll on that. Uh, go ahead and make a. Uh, uh, I think I think a control roll. I think. If it's like sleight of hand, that would be under hide. Thank you, hide. Oh, damn it. I dropped one of my dice. Ah, uh, they're both twos. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you see him kind of like stop and go, well, wait a second. All right, we need to talk about your just matter of control okay um, while this is happening harlow do you uh there is no one up here besides maybe the bartender on the other side of the like kind of like hallway are you doing anything with the money uh yeah i, I i'd be trying to pull it and then uh you know like put it into my vest or pockets yeah you know, like put it away okay cool um you see a uh, we cannot get uh, Anders here today, but we'll uh, we'll we'll play him anyways. You see a uh, a rather kind of like a big burly looking uh, gentleman does not look to look anything like the other people here, but uh, seem to have been kind of maybe watching from afar. Uh, happens to kind of get up the stairs first. Happens to uh, go ahead and roll your uh, your sleight of hand actually. Uh, you're high. <laughs> unless you unless you think you're not trying to hide it. No. Uh, well, I mean. No, I mean like that that's that's how the game works. I think I just try to take the money right. and just do the thing you're supposed to do. So no and also I have no hide, so when you have nothing, that's um what you roll two with disadvantage, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. roll two and you take the worst one. So uh yeah. I'm not trying to hide it though, so so yeah. Okay. You got it. Uh cool. So uh we'll say just to, to move this along, you see uh this uh this rather large looking gentleman um like is that wearing just like a white shirt uh, very nice like button up it has, it has kind of a couple buttons open um uh, uh very like chiseled features um i'll let uh fidget explain what anders looks like but anders comes up uh, also i 
don't think this is Anders' accent, but I'm, actually, I'm not going to do an accent for that. So, uh, Anders is just going to come across the table, uh, come across towards you. Go. Um, I, we might need to leave. I agree. I, I think that would be best, right? Um, mm. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and walk out slowly. Um, and you see him. Uh, he doesn't look like he's like. Uh, uh, I'll say he calls you professor. Actually, um, you uh, you may recognize him briefly. We haven't gone into too much of that, so we'll say just for now. You're kind of just rolling with us. I appreciate it. Um, uh, also, also by the way, is it Doctor Harlow? No, he's actually not a doctor. Um, not a doctor he's okay. like uh, you know uh, hired by the university to do research, but he doesn't have a, a degree. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, not a doctor. Not a doctor. Uh, <laughs> I think so you can see that some people probably call him professor just because he did, does teach a class and whatnot, but, you know, technically he's not like a doctor or anything like that. So. Right. Uh, cool. Uh, so coming down the stairs, uh, I will uh, I will say um, you're trying to make your way out as quietly as possible as this conversation is going on with a whole group of gangsters in the uh, in the, the room itself. So what I would do is if you don't mind, because I think um, I think Anders is heading this up. So I would say it's a I would say it's a move roll, but I'm going to say it's uh, it's Anders move roll. If you don't mind rolling for Anders, Anders Harlow. Sure. Um, and if you see. want to offer help, you certainly can as a drive. If you wanted to, it's up here, up to you. Uh, yeah, he has two, and it's gilded. Yeah, and it's gilded. Yeah, okay. let's try this out. Ooh, <laughs> uh, I'll take the six since I can't have any more drive anyway. So yeah, you got it. Cool. Uh, with a six, um, as this conversation is happening uh, uh, between uh, uh, Vaughn and her uh, Virgil and me, Virgil and uh, and uh, and V, um, uh, the entire party, besides the you know, besides like some of the workers and things like that, they see you like start to kind of like leave out the back way, um, uh, and uh, we'll say we'll kind of kind of pause your scene there. So uh, with uh, B and Virgil. Virgil kind of uh, holds it down. I, you know that's... What? I don't know what that is. I don't know who that was. Give it to me. I don't know who that is either. So why don't I read it first and then I'll give it to you. Why don't you stop controlling my life? I'm a fucking adult. Give me my fucking letter. Just kind of takes it out of his pocket. Just kind of feels it. It over to you. God. This is why you're no fun to be around anymore, Virgil. So uptight. Uh, do you uh, do you read the letter there, or are you trying she to... She would of... turn and start trying to walk to somewhere quieter. Okay. Probably in the direction of a powder room, if there's a powder room. But if she yeah. sees... The old dude leaving. She's gonna. I mean, with go a after si him. Uh, with the six, is pretty tricky. But I'll say, yeah, uh, right. go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll for it. We'll say uh, survey. Survey. Oof. I'm gonna use a drive because I can do that with street smarts. It's a five. Okay, cool. Uh, with a five, you happen to see, uh, I'm going to say this, you happen to see, like, uh, what's, uh, what does Harlow wear on his feet? Just like normal shoes, anything particular? Uh, you know, old man loafers. Okay, cool. Awesome. You happen to see just the, the hint of an, of an old man loafer with just like a, the naked top of a foot, maybe, uh, uh, exiting out towards the, uh, towards the direction of the back alley of this establishment. She's gonna look back at her brothers. Are they looking at her? Uh, you see a couple of them. 
a couple of them are kind of like looking at the door uh, as you as actually uh, I think Virgil's probably kind of giving them a, a what for on the uh, on the idea of the security around here. They're gonna find out who that young man was. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I would know if there's a window in the powder room here. Uh, yes, yes, and there and there is. She's just gonna be like, I drank too much. I'll be right back, and then she's gonna run into the powder room and crawl out the window. Okay, cool. Um, I was gonna say, like, I think in the in the range of like this being like a little bit of like probably home turf for you. Obviously, you you have the dairy house, which is like. Uh, something very different but this is like this is a place that you uh have frequented at least for the past like six months we'll say because mm-hmm. um, they won't let me go out alone anymore right um so uh heading out um uh heading out onto uh, so you're just heading out into the street yeah cool awesome i think she's gonna try to find the old man because she wants to try to get some of that money back for some drinking cash tonight you got it um okay uh so you see uh, uh heading out onto the streets uh harlow go ahead and roll me one more move with anders with anders roll I don't know if he heard you. Oh. Evan, can you hear me? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the, the, I think you might have cut out for a second. So gotcha. could you repeat? No worries. Uh, uh, let's say uh, go ahead and roll one more. Uh, well, I don't know. You're, you're, you might be staying put, actually. I think you're staying put. I think you're having a conversation with Anders of like, uh, like just saying like, yeah, it's a good haul. Um, uh, and... Um, I would say just uh, asking if you knew um, who that was outside, out front. Um, would I have known them? I don't think so. Uh, didn't look, it looked like a very common man type of, uh, yeah. like, looked young, probably like a kid, yeah. like maybe in his like early I 20s. I know that many people anyway, but yeah, uh, I've, I've never seen them in my life. Um, I think you're going to want that card. Um, at this point, uh, V, are you, tr- uh, are you trying to find, uh, Harla? Uh, yeah. Cause she's going to try to sell him the card for some drinking money. Cause I can't imagine her brothers leave her with an exorbitant <laughs> amount of cash Love knowing it. her. Love it. Uh, awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll say, go ahead and uh, roll me uh, whatever the find is. Uh, I guess it's survey again? It's, it's, it's I probably survey. Yeah, survey. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a one. Okay, cool. Awesome. With a one, I don't have you... resistance and intuition, so. <laughs> With a one, you walk completely in the entire, uh, completely in the, a different direction. Um, just heading out onto uh, onto the street. Uh, you can see uh, from your side, you're, uh, it takes a while for you to assume that, to recognize that they probably couldn't get there that, that far. Uh, uh, they couldn't be able to get this far. Um, and I think you're kind of distracted with the boats that are coming in and out from the port. Um, uh doesn't take long for you to realize your mistake and then and then really probably recognize that they're probably long gone now at this point um let's say where do you go from here Mm. she would probably find a quiet place on the dock to open up both letters and read them and then she'd go find a bar (laughs) but she's gonna read he's she's gonna read harlow's letter too Okay, you got it. Uh, so opening up uh, your letter first. Um, uh, uh, you read. Uh, one second. I just want to see here. Um, 
Okay. Uh, you read. Um, I hope this letter finds you well, uh, Miss uh, O'Brien. Please know that I mean no disrespect, but you're not ill, just misinformed. I have a proposition for you to find your ghosts and lay them to rest. No answer. You see, but you do see it. You also have a card. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Um, um, I forgot to put the type of something. Uh, if interested, let's say for you. If interested, please meet me at the New Ocean House at noon tomorrow. <laughs> uh, opening up the, uh, uh, checking out the card, um, you see a, uh, a depiction of uh, what looks to be this like very like rudimentary sort of like uh, uh, drawing of a, uh, of what looks to be some sort of like devil figure. Um, uh, you see a like uh, infinity sign above its head, um, a circle around its face. It actually looks uh, looks very like Church of Satanish, actually. Mm -hmm. um, turning the card over, you see a single uh, uh, a single candle, in black and white, with a skeletal hand. All right, and then I'm just gonna read Harlow's. <laughs> Uh, cool. Give me one second. Sorry, Harlow, I tried to find you. <laughs> Harlow really continues did. on with his life oblivious. The campaign continues without him. The whole campaign, yeah. <laughs> uh. Sorry, you can't play next week. I have your letter. <laughs> Man, these uh, dice have consequences. How do you say Harlow's last name without an accent? Look, uh, you could say Decker. I think Decker is probably the the best. Yeah, like with the accent, I try to put a little bit of the ya kind of the, the Y sound like Decker, you know, that kind Decker. of thing. Okay. But like, I think in English, most people just say Decker. Both is both is good enough. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so it just says, uh, Professor Decker, um, I hope this letter finds you well. Please know that you are not ill, just misinformed. Uh, I have a proposition for you to carry your ghost to rest. If interested, please meet me at the New Ocean House noon tomorrow. Uh, the um, uh, the card that uh, that is in his envelope uh, looks to be a you see a uh, what looks to be like a uh, like a robed figure um, on the like uh, on the precipice of like a cliff um, with a lantern that's being held out. Um, and the, the lantern is like uh, behind it. You see like a depiction of like uh, what looks to be like the night sky. Um, and then turn the card over. Same thing. You see a candle with a uh, skeletal hand. This fails like some kind of Ponzi. I don't wait. Is Ponzi scheme a thing yet? Yeah. Is it? No. no. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> we know what you mean. It feels We're like some kind of scheme. He's getting the same exact letter as me. Um. I figure out what this is. She is going to think about how weird it's a professor was betting that much money in the yacht club. Interesting. And then she's going to go to some places where she thinks she can get free drinks because she doesn't have her brothers to pay for it. And then she's going to find a place to crash in town and try to stay hidden from her brothers so that she can get to the house at noon tomorrow. Because they definitely won't let her go if they know. Okay. Um, we'll say uh, you um, you go to a tavern that you know isn't like completely run and owned and pay being paid off by uh, your brothers. Uh, it's known as the Lofty Fisherman. Um, and I would say, well, here's the question. Do you want to see if you can get free drinks, but knowing that your brothers might find out that you're there? Or do you want to be in a place where you think your brothers won't find you? Uh, 
Uh, she wants the free drinks because I can't imagine they left her with any money. Okay, cool. Awesome. Because they uh, they think she's hysterical acting out, trying to keep her on the on a short lease. Okay. Um, so so you... she's going to bar hop their bars and try to like evade them through the night. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I say the first bar and we'll, the space that we'll, we'll find you is, uh, is at a bar that is called the red Heron, um, which is very owned by your, uh, by your family. Um, mostly because they liked the name. Um, uh, there, it is not their, uh, sorry, excuse me. It is not their business per se, but it's owned by them. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, cool. And I'll say you get a drink and you uh, find yourself in like a quiet booth as you contemplate um, life or, and, and what that what those cards might have meant. Um, coming over to Harlow and Anders, there's a whole scene that I want to make sure that we're playing with uh, with Fidget as well. But I will say, uh, Harlow, where would you go after all of this? Um, yeah, I'd just be going back to the uh the lab classroom home that I live in. So it's, you know, uh, the, the school is actually has a little, you know, apartment that he lives in there and his lab. So that's where he'd be going back to. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, great. Uh, V by the way, actually, um, I would like uh, one more survey check, please. That's another one. Okay, cool. Uh, so this this is fun. This makes that this makes this next scene very interesting. Uh, so as we are as you're sitting in the bar uh, with Red Heron, which means that there's no uh, there's no sound like this going on anymore. But it's a uh, fancy bar. Yeah, yeah, it's not that fancy of a bar. Uh, <laughs> we'll we'll switch back to this. Uh, there is someone else who is at this bar, um, uh, clutching a drink and looking. Um, I think probably a tad nervous i don't know if audra is a consistent bar person she probably has been in the past few months right okay great cool we're in the same vein cool um (laughs) so you see uh you see audra is uh is uh, over on the other side of the bar uh on a separate booth uh clutching her drink uh seemingly just uh sitting by herself um, uh, and, uh, you see as the drink is kind of being lifted, uh, to her lips, you can see just the, the slightest sort of, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Twitch, I guess. Tremor in almost. The, uh, tremor in the hand. Yeah. Um, as, uh, Audra, you, you finished the last of your drink. Uh, what do we see when we look at Audra? Uh, so Audra's, uh, very young on um, long dark hair just kind of swept back, uh, dressed very simply um, in like a blouse and skirt, um, has maybe a little bit of dirt under her fingernails uh, from, uh, she is a gardener, grows plants, um, and is, yeah, looking a little anxious, trying, trying not to be noticed. Um, it is very late at night. Um, and where you are in the Red Heron, you see that there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of gentlemen that are dressed, uh, just like the, um, so you see like the very, like very fine, uh, clothes. Uh, you see kind of like probably a slight pinstripe to it. Let's just, let's play the trope. Um, um, uh, you, uh, you also notice that, uh, a couple of them are, uh, couple of them are wearing uh like a dark rusty brown uh dark rusty brown gloves that do not match their suit at all uh, uh, so they're like kind of like a like a ruddy sort of brown um, uh you see one of these gentlemen who has been uh, uh whether audra is seeing it or not has been kind of eyeing across the bar um Kind of like finishes his last drink, just kind of gets up, and saunters over. And says, oh, I am sorry. 
don't mean to bother you. Just notice that you're drinking alone. Can I buy you a drink? I see this happening. You do not. You rolled a one. Oh, shit, please. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> you can't see shit tonight. <laughs> so this is walking over, walking over to Oz, right? Yeah. That's that's very kind of you. Uh, I'm I'm waiting for someone. I uh, was a bit early and ordered myself something while I wait. But thank you. KP company while you wait for him. Or them. Oh, I'm sure he'll be here any moment. And. I wouldn't want him to get the wrong idea. Thank you, though. Well, any gentleman who stands up a lovely lady like yourself is not a gentleman at all. Are you sure? I promise you. I can be very easy to talk to. <laughs> You're very kind, uh, but... I, I'm afraid it, it wouldn't be proper at all uh, for me to be seen with someone I don't know without a chaperone. Thank you. Have a good evening. You she probably has a book with her. <laughs> I love it, yeah. You see him just about to kind of open his mouth to say one more thing. And you hear a... Uh, you hear the, um, you hear like a uh, like a scooting uh, from a far off uh, from a far off table, as if someone had either walked in through the door or has been there the whole time and overheard some of that conversation. Um, you hear uh, busting through. You see a young gentleman, uh, grayish shirt, uh, vest, no tie. Uh, hey, uh, sorry, love, uh, didn't mean to be. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, buddy. Thank you. Uh, you, you okay? Um, uh, yeah. oh, uh, we'll, we'll take, uh, uh, honey, what did you want? Uh, oh, white wine, please. Uh, two white wines, please. Thanks, man. Uh, you see the, uh, you see the gentleman kind of just like, kind of like, uh, clutches the side of the booth, um, like, like tightly. And you can kind of hear the, uh, like the, that sort of like squeak against, uh, that leather against leather on the booth um, as he lets go and walks away. Uh, clearly not getting you drinks, but... Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, I'll... Uh, I'll leave in a few minutes. It just seemed like you needed some help. Thank you. I, I just... came here to be alone, and apparently that's too much to ask for. Uh, to, to be honest with you, with all due respect, you picked a hell of a place to be. This is not uh, this is not necessarily a good area to be in. I just got thrown out of the last place I was at around here. So, Anyways, uh, my name's Alan. Nice to meet you. Uh, Audra, it's a pleasure. Uh, actually, he wouldn't extend his hand out because then that would be too obvious. It's... Well, uh, dear, what uh, before I skedaddle, uh, is there any reason uh why are girls in a place like this? You don't have to tell me too much. I just... It's kind of odd. No one here knows me. It's nice to be invisible sometimes. If no one here knows you, where are you, where are you from originally? Um, I have a shop in, in the city. Um, oh. But uh, it will, it's nice to step away from the responsibilities of being a businesswoman and just hide. Hmm. Again, forgive me, but it seems like you're. Uh... Your skills at being uh, business-like does not, uh, it's probably not what's making your handshake like that. Am I right? I, uh, I suffered a loss recently. 
Sorry to hear that. Thank you. Uh, it's caused quite a bit of grief in my life unexpectedly. Yeah, that'll do that. Um, I understand. I, uh, I've lost both my parents, so uh, it's uh, it's tricky. So, you know, you, you learn a little bit. But, uh, how long has it been she, since she passed? Not quite six months. Uh, roll a song book. A recheck, we'll say. You say that again, my headphone died. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what did you want her to roll? Yeah, what do you need from me? A, a read check. Read. Check. read. I'm not super confident on these checks. Uh, so uh, I think so for Andra, it's, it's... I have uh, one check mark, so I just roll one. You just roll one, you but you can spend one, drives you can spend if, you drives if you want. Uh, I'll spend a drive. I have a few. Okay. So I roll two now. Also, also uh, uh, if you go into you your, go settings, your settings... And then hit yeah, audio. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. Um, uh, echo so, cancellation. So, yeah, hit that yeah, echo hit cancellation in there. Uh, I'll fix it in Andre. just a second. Cool. Um, I got a four and a one. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, four. Is it four? Four is miles success, right? Yeah. 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 Um, um, you didn't you say, didn't it, say was it was a she. Uh, forgive me. I don't remember mentioning that it was a woman that I lost. Oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Funny mistake, Funny mistake I guess mistake, that's, that's. Who are you really? My audio got really messed up. This sits this back in this. This is what we saw. Well, I can tell, well, I can tell, you, tell you for sure. For sure. I'm, I'm not trying to I'm mean trying you to any harm, harm or anything. I just, I just. I was given a list of names. I was given a list of and, names. Um, and, uh, you recently appeared on there? But, uh, you hear me? You hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Did you turn that echo cancellation on? I think so. Yeah, it seems like it's it's trying for sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's trying. I'll fight with um, it in a minute. No worries. Um, a list of uh, names. Yeah. What, um, what sort of names? Well, uh, to be honest with you, I, I don't normally meet these people face to face, but in your case, you were kind of, uh, like I said, you were last on the list, so I just wanted to make sure I was talking to the right person. You're Audra, right? Audra, because uh, you said your first name. Uh, Audra Hurst? You seem to know more about me than I would prefer, so I think you and I both know that that's my name. Yeah. Um, Audra, I can't say that uh, I can't say that I knew your uh, person that passed, but uh, the people that I'm involved with uh, knew her very well, and they are very, uh, they are very sorry that she has passed. Uh, has she ever talked about any sort of uh, organization she had been a part of overseas? Not specifically she would tell me stories I always thought they were just fairy tales 
chances are they probably weren't. Um, I can't, uh, I can't relay any too much, too much more information here, but I think I got all the information I need. Uh, sorry to make your uh, day already more confusing. I'm just going to leave this with you. It slides over an envelope. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. And uh, again, it's none of my business. But if you wanna, if you wanna leave with me, I swear I'll go in the other direction as soon as we're out of here. I think I'll wait a bit. Thank you. Fair enough. Hope to see you again. Man. He walks out. Um. At this moment, V, um, we'll say even with that one, uh, V, you do recognize the person walking out. The little dude from earlier? Mm hmm. Hi, hey, you! You see him kind of turn, look at you, and then just walk out to the night. She's gonna start looking around, see if she can see the old guy again. <laughs> can't see the old guy you do you do see the booth that uh that he had just left in um you see uh audra probably even more shaken than when we first met her and it's unusual for obviously for me to see a, another woman alone in this bar yeah i think you take one look at audra and go like you don't belong here mm -hmm. she's gonna saunter over to audra and take the seat that i guess the other dude was at before. <laughs> I think you were shocked again as someone else enters the seat. I think I think she sees oh so slightly. Audra rolls her eyes a little bit, like seriously, <laughs> what are we gonna do to get a moment of peace? Love it. And V's just gonna look, sit down with her drink, and just kind of look at you sideways, and just keep drinking and looking around at the all the gentlemen in the room. She's not okay. gonna say anything. She's kind of okay. just establishing a fact to leave her alone essentially um we see the uh the gentleman we'll say just to kind of put a difference on him we see a, a, he had like red hair and like orange red hair um still kind of sitting in his, his place back at the bar just kind of occasionally eyeing over uh, can <laughs> i help you say just, in, just enjoying my drink here. How about you? That wine good? Um, it's fine. Thank you. Do you come here a lot? <laughs> Quite a bit, actually. Don't see a lot of your type here. Not very safe for someone like you. Ladies don't quite belong in this part. Especially not alone. Well, I can take care of myself. Thank you. I like it because no one here knows me. That can be a dangerous factor among some of these crowds. Well, like I said, I, I can take care of myself all right. Uh, at this yeah. moment, V, you see, uh, as she's probably not touched it very much, besides maybe putting it as like pushing it aside on the uh, uh, on the table, you see a very similar met, uh, letter. He tried to sell you on his game as well, but she's gonna pull out her letter. She probably like pulls out two, makes sure one of them is. That's me, and then sets it down. Interesting. He Did you read yours yet? Uh, no. Uh, you came and sat next to me before I had a moment. How did you get two of them? He told me he had a list of names. Unless you have two names. I suspect you have some ones that doesn't belong to you. Yeah, I tried to find the guy after he left the bar, but... I kind of lost track of him. Y'all do must walk real fast. Hmm. 
I'm gonna look at her and, well, if you'll excuse me. You're not gonna open your letter? Uh, I was going to wait until I got home. I'm in the middle of a good book. Hmm. And uh, how long will it take you to finish that book? You might want to open that letter before at least noon tomorrow, if it's what I think it is. Oh, actually, for the record, um, because V, you flash two envelopes, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's we'll just say this happens. Uh, Audrey, you recognize the other name. Oh, I was going to ask if I knew it. Mm-hmm. You said you tried to find the other person? Yeah. Well, it so happens that I know that person. And I may know where they are and where he is. Do you now? Fancy a little walk? In the rain. Is it raining tonight? Mm -hmm. I thought it was. Yep. Yeah, we're still in the same night. Still in the same night, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, rain never hurt anybody. I'll read my letter, and then we'll take Herr Decker his. All right. She's going to just kind of turn away again so that Audra has her privacy. I was going to say. Just keep eyeing the bar. Just eyeing all the guys around the bar. Also keeping an eye out for her brothers. Okay. Because I imagine I would know a back exit if they come in. (laughs) Uh, Audra, you open the letter. Yeah, I do. Uh, Audra Hurst, we were sorry to learn about Lightkeeper Amsler. We hope she died peacefully. In this regard, you may know who we already are. If not, you're not ill, just misinformed. I have a proposition for you to carry your ghosts to rest. If interested, please meet me at the New Ocean House noon tomorrow. And you see the card. Uh, You see a a depiction of a woman uh, carrying a uh, an open book and uh, what looks to be like some sort of like uh, like chalice. Uh, so an open book in one hand, like uh, some sort of like chalice in the right hand. Um, you see that she's wearing some sort of like a decorative sort of headdress. It almost looks a little, um, it almost looks like religious, uh, but you're not sure of any sort of specific affiliation. Um, and you see there are two pillars on either side of her. Uh, you turn it over and you see a candle being held by a skeletal hand. And you said you received a similar letter. I mean, I received a letter telling me to go to this ocean house tomorrow at noon. You said it seemed like a scheme, but... Well, Mr. Harlow says the same thing, and it sounds like just the type of thing you do to a bunch of gullible people. I would hardly consider myself to be a gullible person. Perhaps we ought to go talk to Mr. Decker. Yes, that'd be interesting to talk to this professor. All right. I suppose I'll lead the way. I'm Audra, by the way. You can call me V. V. Okay. 
as you both head out into the night, um, and are you, are you going to Harlow's office? Is that what, is that what the plan yeah, is? Yeah, I imagine that's probably where I know him. Like, yeah. I'd say you probably see him come come to the shop every once in a while. Um, yeah. But I think, you know, maybe you, maybe you had to make I some can't. home deliveries because he was in the middle of, like, you know, uh, writings or what have you. Yeah. Uh, Harlow, does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, I mean, like, yeah, anybody who knows him knows that he's, that's he's pretty much almost always in that lab school office home place, you know, and, and, and like he goes out, but if, if you know, he's not going to be pretty much anywhere else at night. Got it. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's say at a certain point as you are heading back to the office, Harlow, you um, are uh, uh, you are trudging through the storm uh probably in like that in like a maybe some sort of like trench coat sort of thing which is kind of like holding against your face um uh and i think you happen to see how you hear a sort of scuffle uh, a couple of grunts uh down an alleyway it sounds like there's some sort of uh some sort of some sort of altercation going on. Uh, I mean, uh, part of his purpose in Salem is to sort of investigate anything strange, not that it scuffles it completely strange, but I think he'd go at least carefully kind of uh, take a look and see what was going on there. Okay. Um, Salem and Lynn are uh, definitely more than a typical sort of uh, walk away, Uh, but this is a somewhat fantasy game, so... Deal with it. Um, <laughs> Sinclair. Uh, go ahead and roll me, please. A well, it, I would say if you if someone was attacking you, you would you feel comfortable striking them? Um, in a let me let me see my stats. Only as a last resort. Only in a moment of self defense. You got it. Um, so yeah, go ahead and roll me a strike, uh, uh, strike check. Okay. Now remind me, uh, drives can only apply to, you can only use drives for the areas they are sent to. Okay. So I have no drives in their nerves. This is fun. But I do have one mark in strike, so here's hoping. Use my bloodiest looking die. (laughs) And that's a two. Okay. Uh. Uh, Harlow, from your perspective, you see um, you see this figure kind of take a wild swing at um, these two uh, these two younger gentlemen um, uh, that are um, that are wearing like kind of like these like uh, uh, like no vest, just like a white button up shirt, just some like pants, like the typical sort of like streetwear, um, and uh, they seem to be laughing. Um, and, uh, you hear, you hear sounds like, come on, mincemeat. Come on. What do you got? What do you got, mincemeat? Come on. Uh, and, uh, at that point, we'll say at that point with the two, uh, you see the other one come up behind and actually, uh, full Nelson. Uh, yeah, he's going to uh, approach and uh, what what is going on here? What, what, what are you doing? Is, is this man wronged you in some way? Whatever, I have, get out of here. Uh, I need help, help, help. Uh, you see uh, is, one, of the, one of the kids just do a straight <clears throat> shot right into the gut. Uh, oh, oh. Um. <laughs> um. I, I didn't do anything. I know Harlow is not the person to be here for this, <laughs> but this is how this is how things went. All right. Um. Do I know the kids at all or their parents? 
<laughs> I like that. Uh, go ahead and roll a, uh, I'll say, roll a focus check. Okay. The blue die is the gilded one. And it's a six. Not that I can get any more drive, but... Nice. Uh, oh, two sixes. So multiple sixes is actually a crit. Multiple sixes. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you do recognize uh, one of the uh, one of the kids. Uh, his uh, his older brother. You've uh, you've taught in some of his classes. A uh, terrible kid. Never gonna make it. Um, uh, the the older brother. Um, uh, but uh, for you wanting him to succeed, most likely you've made maybe some house visits, uh, mm-hmm. or you at least have contacted the parents um, in like trying to explain like. Uh, so I'll say uh, for uh, this candidate, we'll say his name is uh, 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 Danny Fines. Okay. Danny, is that you? What would your mother think of this? Uh, your brother I teach your brother I know where you live this uh, kids get up to mischief I get it uh this man looks different but uh, let's let's put this past us and we can all just go home and nobody needs to get hurt or go to jail okay you don't you don't talk to my moms then right fair enough you go on home (laughs) you before you even able to finish the sentence uh you see the kid runs off and the other kid who has the full Nelson uh, sees that he's now outnumbered uh, by an older dude uh, and just like throws, uh, I would say throws Sinclair against the wall and just runs off. Um, Sinclair, you full on take a hit right up against him. I won't make you take a body. Am I not taking, I'm not taking any more. No, not for this. This These are the introduction stuff. Okay. Are you, are you all right? Uh, Besides the obvious uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, can I uh, take you somewhere? Or you, do you need medical no, no, assistance? Don't, don't, or don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm fine. All, I'm fine. all right. All right. Uh, well, uh, my name is Harlow Decker. If you... Uh, need anything my school is right down the street uh it's not mince me on 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 derby uh it's it's it's, it's not mince me uh, my name is not mince me i i i didn't i didn't say your name was mince me that no uh, there i there they they said it was my name is yeah, Sin- my Sin- name is sinclair sinclair it, it Sin- is sinclair. Excellent to meet you. Uh, it is <clears throat> raining very hard. Uh, so, would you like to go indoors, or can I uh, offer you a, a cigarette? Uh, do you need anything? I I got separated from the guy I was walking with. Um, I think I need to go catch up with him. I got sort of i had to go take a leak um just down an alleyway for a moment and uh before i knew it those two scabbers were just fucking on me um i i I gotta go find cb um uh, um i'll be i'll be okay harlow did you say your name was harlow 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 decker yeah most people call me decker uh, you can call me whatever you like, but the school is down the street. If you need anything, uh, it's also where I live, where my lab is. Uh, feel free to come by anytime. Um, uh, uh, all right, I. You, would, I'd be invited. I'm invited to your your school. Sure. What do you, What do you teach? Uh, I I uh, teach uh, fringe esoterica and uh, psychical studies. Uh, uh, oh, tertiary no, no, class no. from Harvard and. Uh, no, I've already had plenty of people trying to fucking study me and all that. I don't want another. I'm not looking to be put up on a stage. No, I'm I'm good. I don't want to be. Uh, no, I'm not. You, in, 
not interested in you as a subject, but if you, I do uh, try to investigate any abnormalities in the city. If you hear anything or you know anything, please come by. You can let me know. I, I often pay very well for any information regarding uh, abnormal events in, in, here in the city. Uh, um, you pay for abnormal for knowledge about abnormal events. Yes, any any information that that has to do with uh, something out of the ordinary. How how much do you pay? It, it, it depends on the information, the the, the clarity, uh, and uh, you know the uh, the event. But uh, okay. it's you know sometimes it's a few dollars. Sometimes it's up to maybe ten dollars for 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 truly unique information. All right, I, I I do have a bit of information I'll share with you for uh, for a little bit of little bit of scratch if you. Uh, if you're interested. That's perfect. You're good at you're good at your word, right? Right? You'll pay me? Of course. I have my money right here. All of the birds are grouping in threes. Hmm. Ill omens are in the air. What, what is in the air? Ill omens. Ill omens. Ill omens. Bad, bad things are happening. Hmm. When the when the birds group in threes. I have not observed this phenomenon, but it is interesting. It's because you're not looking hard enough. You gotta I, know. All right, I I I do look, but. Uh, you, have, you, you have to know what you're looking for. The signs are all around us. You know this, right? I I do see many signs. I'm not talking street signs. I'm talking like signs from the unexplained. I, I see many signs. And I sometimes add them. To myself. What is what is that? This is uh, many of the interpretations in different languages I have found in the Gramata Emerlan. Uh, when I wake, if I need to remember something, uh, I'm a little old. Uh, I will have uh, uh, a man I know uh, add the symbols to my arm so I do not forget. But I, I, I see, I see signs. You're, hold on, you're, you mark your body like a sailor for, with signs? It's, 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 uh, I, I do not care. Other people, and most of the time it's under my sleeve. The people, people, it doesn't matter. I am not, a, a some, the model of high society. But you're a teacher. Yes, I am a teacher. But you're not. Uh, Harvard will pay me whether I have marks on my arm or not. Well, you're you teach at Harvard. This, I'm associated with Harvard. I, this uh, I, I am a, a branch research laboratory. They do not pay me very well, but uh, you gave me information, and I am a man of my word. So. Uh, uh, I will, I will pay you, uh, and I take out five dollars, and I pay him five dollars. Okay. No. Uh, it is. You gave me information. I will be looking for these signs, and if you find anything else, please come to the the school and let me know. You're hold on. You're giving me, hold on. This is you're giving me five dollars for this information. Think of it as also an advance. Uh, on uh, keeping an eye out on any other things you might see. You seem to have a, a, a foot in the door in, in these sorts of things. And so if you see anything else, uh, I will still pay you again if you come. But this is uh, how you, this is uh, motivation to, to come by the school. 
I will not study you. That is not my thing. I do not study human subjects. Uh, but I uh, uh, will any information. I would be be happy to have. Just, just this amount. You're giving me this amount of money for just information. Yes. It's I. I had a. I had the good night. I think Sinclair just takes just sprints away. Okay. <laughs> I think in this moment with five dollars, which I can only imagine, which is, what is the uh, like cost of that? I, yeah, I mean, the, the bounce, bucks, it's, it's got to be it's, like around it's, there at least. It's quite a bit. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's quite a bit. I, yeah, I think Sinclair. I think Sinclair will just. I think he will just snatch it and run because he's not quite sure if. If they're gonna I mean, this this is where we're not throwing inside checks, right? Like, this is a different mm -hmm. system. Like, this yeah. is like he's not sure if Har if uh, Docker uh, Decker is like a man of his word, or if he's like this is a sinister amount of money that might come with a catch, sort of thing. Yeah. Five dollars in I think it's worth one hundred eighty one dollars. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I think I think I think Keep also in like in the, in the in the idea of like maybe. Uh, introductory, but possibly even through the whole game. I'm not sure if I would if I would be uh, allowing you guys to be rolling like any sort of inside check on each other. Yeah. Um, that, that that allows us to go be kind of a little more creative with the play. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, so you run back. Uh, in the meantime, uh, CB, uh, you who have been trying to get home uh, with Sinclair probably kind of holding you up a little bit. Um, so now saying like, all right, hold on. I gotta, I mean, he, he rambled something and I don't think you're even sure what he said. Um, but you're on the kind of like, you're, you're hanging out, you're waiting. You said that you would take him, And so you're going to, it's the, it's the level of like understanding in for a penny in for a pound. Um, while you're sitting out there, uh, occasionally you're hearing that same sort of like, thunder um and just you know trying to kind of relax yourself as much as you can um you see a figure uh kind of like uh, kind of dragging himself um over in your direction uh say about 20 feet away when, uh, before you see before you see them it's uh <clears throat> rough night to be out mister Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, have you, uh, have you seen, uh, uh have you seen Mincemeat around? It's, uh, it's Sinclair. Uh, he, he, he's around here somewhere. What, Who? what are you, Sinclair? No, Mincemeat. No, Sinclair. Listen, just treat him with respect, okay? He's working hard. You don't, you see you don't the, gotta look down there. I think as the figure comes closer as you're explaining, you're explaining, like, treat him with respect as you're looking at a figure who is, probably is not also used to being treated with respect. You see a very grisly beard, long hair, um, uh, like, uh, uh, I'd say, uh, like, probably, like, African-American, definitely, like, the, the darker sort of skin tone, um, yeah. and, and eyes that are, like, that are just, that are just pupils. You don't see any sort of iris. There's, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, uh, yeah. Well, if you see mince meat, um, uh, the, the little a little bird gave me this letter uh, by where he normally sleeps. Okay. I, if he's alive, can you give it to him? I, I will. Are you you, you okay? Yeah, why? If you ever need anything, do you know where, where Coast Butcher Shop is? It's over there on Summer Street. Pushes the envelope into your hand. Yeah. How much for this? Um... I'm, 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 I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have anything on me. Uh, if you know where the, the, the butcher shop is, oh, I mean, here, I got a penny. It, it's, just take that. Okay. Your, your coat. 
have my your coat. Uh, a little bird gave this to me and convinced me he'd want to have it. Um. Yeah, take here. Just take the, take the coat. All right. Here. Thank you. Just yeah. Go go get dry somewhere, okay? It's a nice coat. It. Uh, you it see is. him kind of uh, flip up the uh, the um, the collar. Uh, like up towards his face. It's good for blocking out the sounds. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Yeah. Why don't you what? Why don't you just go find some place and get dry? All right. You. Just. Thank you, Father. And he walks out. Walks away. Ah. <sighs> Do I see, like, can I look around? Do I see Sinclair? Yeah, I'd say about a minute goes by. You see him kind of like, uh, like bundling up around the corner, just heaving. Yeah. Sinclair. Hey. <clears throat> uh, CB, is that you? Yeah, come on. Like, it's uh, it's wet. Let's go. Uh, 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 all right. All right. Hey, one of the. Uh, what are your the guys you said you sleep with in that big old house of yours? He he gave well, me this letter to give to you. I share a room with him. Um, yeah. But okay, Sinclair. He gave me a letter for you. Yeah. Uh. Um. Uh, for me? Who? Who? Uh. Okay. Um. Where's your jacket? I, I gave it to him. Um, you know what? He can he can have it. it it's cold, and can, we really need to get moving. Uh, all right, I, I'll, I'll open it later. Let's let's get going. Let's just at least get the place dry, okay? Yeah, I, I don't want you catching a cold. I don't want my meat sandwiches to go away because you uh, catch cold and die. You know what I mean? Why why are you gonna put that on me, Sinclair? Okay. <laughs> That's just the stakes. That's just I swear. The stakes. We'll see. The camera kind of fades out as you guys walk out into the night. Um, we hear a... Uh, uh, in the scene change, we hear a door shut uh, before flipping over to uh, Harlow in his office. Uh, Harlow, you want to describe what your office looks like? Yeah. Uh, so... The office is uh, more book than office, uh, and it's it is absolute chaos. Just like things strewn strewn all over the place, a lot, a lot of like books open to different pages, and you know just enough room for him to kind of sit at a desk. Uh, and uh, it's it's small. the The building itself is actually just like a uh, rented under underground sort of basement building that like has the 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 this the tiny school room office and then if you look there's a back room that has a lab with a bunch of different glassware and lab equipment and things like that uh so yeah uh if it, you know as soon as he comes back he's probably back at he, he's cross-referencing books and trying to he's also uh counting the money and trying to figure out what you know things he can buy for the lab with it okay cool um as you're as you're doing that uh uh V, can you give me a sleight of hand check? Excuse me, sorry, a hide check, which is sleight of hand. We'll eventually get away from D and D. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. It'd probably be better That's to kind of tell six. you what this is. Going on. Okay, never mind. I don't need to tell you at all. Um, awesome. So, uh, as you and Andre are uh, making your way uh, over, and this is, we'll say because this is introductions, so we have to move things probably a little bit quicker. We'll say somehow you get there. Um, uh, as it is, it is definitely not a like a walk. We turn left <laughs> out of the bar, walk down three blocks, right. and then cut through the park. Um, I'd say by the time, like by the time you get there, it's probably like three in the morning. Like it's it's getting to a it's getting pretty dang late. Um, Andre, there's been several points that you yourself have thought in your head, like what have I got myself into? Um, oh, for sure. And and following sure. uh, this uh, character, V, you're 
in your element. Um, Wait till you try to see her wake up at noon tomorrow. (laughs) Um, As you get to the, uh, as you get to the, uh, the gates of the school, you can see it is, uh, it is very well uh, padlocked. Um, Audra is seeing this as an opportunity to be like, uh, okay, I guess we'll have to go tomorrow. We'll have to come back in the morning, I suppose. No, 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 we don't got to do that. Uh, v, at this moment, you see there's a little spot where the the um, iron, uh, the sorry, excuse me, the the fence itself seems to be a little loose on one end. Should try to uh, wiggle it, make it opening wide enough for her. Yeah, with the six, no problem. You wiggle it out, and you you see it, uh, an opening. This definitely, you have to kind of crawl on your hands and knees to get under. But yeah. Are you coming, Audra? On the on the ground? I mean, wouldn't it just be easier to come back in the morning? Yeah, what? You could brave the bar, but you can't brave a little dirt. <sighs> it's not the dirt that I'm afraid of. Just like muttering to herself as she crawls under the gate. Okay. You crawl under the gate and you, um, actually, let's do something a little weird with Andra. Um, <laughs> Audra, as you're crawling under the gate, um, let's see. Um, I'll just give you the, I can roll me a sense check. Okay. It's it's low low stakes. Okay. <laughs> I got two ones. Two ones. Okay, cool. Bye. Awesome. Uh, you got it. It's it's taking all your effort to kind of get under, um, and so you kind of like you roll under, but it's awkward and it's tricky. It's it's someone who is I assume not really athletic in any way, shape, or form. Probably uh, not. Wearing a yeah. big bulky skirt. Um, love it, but uh, you managed to kind of get underneath, and you guys are on the other side, and you're uh, you're able to. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're trespassing, but Audrey, you do know where the office is. Well, since we're already here, Herr Decker's uh, office is this way. If he's even there. Lead the way. So, speed along to cutting to a scene where you're in front of the door. So we walk in the doors, and then we hang a right, and then we go up the mm-hmm. first flight of stairs. Of oh, the, the long like if this was real, like the longest <laughs> thing would be actually like getting to his office because it's a college <laughs> campus. Um, so yes, that's true. Uh, but yeah, you you appear in front of the door. Start banging on the door. Okay. Oh. Love it. All right. So, hey, uh, old guy, wake up. Harlow, who is, uh, as is usual, asleep in the office rather than in the like adjoining like a uh, uh, you know apartment. Uh, yeah, wakes up. Uh, cigarette still sort of burning on the desk. Puts that out and then goes over <laughs> to to the door, groggily, uh, opens it. Miss Miss Hurst and the oh the the skeptic with dipsomania. Uh, I feel like that was an insult. It's uh, dipso uh, from the Greek meaning uh, thirst, a a, a drinker. Uh, If you want your money back, it's in the safe. uh, I cannot give it to you. I I need it. I have to buy diphenyl oxalate. It's very expensive. Uh, I just wanted a little bit since I uh, got your letter here safe and sound. You pay a messenger, right? Uh, there, there already was a messenger. That's 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 not a messenger. That's a thief. I hate now. No need to be throwing words out like that. <laughs> We're not the original messenger. 
that uh, it is late. Uh, mm. Yeah. Please. What, what, what would you Please. like for the for the letter? Hmm. <sighs> you got any bottles of liquor in there? I am not a drinker. Hmm. Ah. V, please, it's late. Let's just give Herr Decker the letter so we can all go home and go to bed. Why don't you just, uh, give me something interesting. We can have your letter. I do have... I have ethanol. It is like alcohol. You could put, I wouldn't drink it straight, but you could put it in something and it would have the same effect. Can you make chloroform? Uh, I can, yes. Yeah, a bottle of chloroform might be of use. I don't know for what, it just sounds have, fun. Don't have it on hand. If you give me uh, half an hour, I can, I can make some for you. But if, yeah. if you want to wait, that's fine. It, I'll do it. It's uh, no no problem, but uh, I can also just give you, I'll give you like two dollars if you like. It's you you decide. I'll take the money. It'll buy liquor faster. Yeah, well, the chloroform would be fun to have. That that is not a good that is not a, a good substance to take as as a re, as a recreational substance. Not for me. Maybe for my asshole brothers, but. Uh. I'm, I'm not interested in being a uh, uh, accomplice to crime. Uh, here is your money. Please give me the letter. All right. Don't be late. She's going to hand him the letter. Clearly, it's been opened and handled. <laughs> she didn't even try to find that. <laughs> Good. Uh, so, uh, assume, would you like to tell me what's in the letter? Since obviously you know. Yeah, you gotta be at that new ocean house tomorrow at noon with the rest of us. Even Miss Audra here. Oh, great. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Uh-huh. Uh, or in uh, uh, nine hours. Sounds about right, yes. Great. Uh, is there anything else I can do for the both of you? Hmm. Sure, I'll think of something by tomorrow. Why don't you bring that chloroform with you to the meeting? Yeah, I, I'll do that. Nothing Good night. Nothing Good night, Miss Hurst. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll make sure she gets I home. Apologize. Safe. Professor. Of Audrey, course, go ahead. Miss, go Miss ahead. Audrey, you want to say something? I'm sorry. I just wanted to you. say I'm sorry for the intrusion, and I'll bring your tea to the meeting tomorrow. Thank you very much, Miss Hurst. Uh, it is no problem. I will see you both today, and I close the door. <laughs> So I say the only added thing to your legs, I think your letter was already read out loud, um, is you see the uh, Lavakar, um, which just means, uh, I think, good evening um, uh, for uh, Harlow. Right. I just imagine V just like, whatever, and just went right mm-hmm. up past that. <laughs> um, cool. So uh, with that, uh, we'll say CB. Um, we'll kind of move this into a space uh, where you uh, bring Sinclair in uh, from the uh, from the range. You say you bring him. You bring him into the doghouse. Where where were you bringing Sinclair? Are you muted? Yep, like a lean to or something attached to the side of the house, just okay. like an animal shelter thing. Cool. Um, so uh, yeah, Sinclair, you're. Uh, you're now alone. You can hear the like pattering of the uh, the uh, the the wind is not is somewhat keeping the the sort of the, the lean to sort of in place, um, or uh, is it's, it seems like it's steady enough. Um, but as you hear the wind kind of just like all over the uh, the, the tent, um, you open up your letter. Dearest Sinclair Smith, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. As one who has already seen maybe too much, I understand if you do not want to 
move forward with this. But I must ask anyways. Because you are not ill, just misinformed. I have a proposition for you to carry your ghost to rest. If interested, please meet me at the New Ocean House at noon tomorrow. Um, and the uh, card that you see uh, comes out. You see a what looks to be like a um, at first it almost looks like a like a captain's wheel. Uh, you can see there are uh, figures in each corner. Um, uh, you see like an in, uh, some sort of like angelic being on the left. Um, a sort of, uh, like looks like some sort of flying horse or a bird. It's hard to tell. Um, on the right, uh, a uh, a bull on the bottom left hand side and then what looks to be some sort of feline on the bottom right hand side. You turn the card over and you see a uh, candle that is being held by a skeletal hand. <laughs> we'll say, for the sake of time, is there anyone who thinks that they may not come? Say yes, in case you guys want to play this game. So, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, no, so, I'm out. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll um, we'll kind of uh, probably do just a slight backtrack um, at the beginning of the next session. But for the last scene that we see, um, standing on the porch, looking at a sign that uh, says "closed," uh, you hear the sound of uh, of uh, Construction, uh, construction men like very far off working on the uh, the new uh, uh, Lynn Parkway. I guess what it was. Um, uh, that's not what it was. What the heck was it? I literally walked across it a million times. Anyways, forgive me those that are from my neck of the woods. You know what I mean. Um, Standing out in front of the porch, you see the signs is closed. You're all kind of looking at each other. Most of you kind of know each other, at least in passing. Uh, you hear a uh, you hear a vehicle uh, pull up. A uh, a man walks out. That uh, I'd say most of you. I see, uh, wearing a uh, very similar attire to what I am wearing now. Mm -hmm. See him get out of the car, look up at you all, closes the door, looks over to the other side, opens it, and you see a very, very elderly woman dressed in, um, I'll turn this off, uh, dressed in, uh, what I could say would be like a like a dark purple shawl, um, a bunch of uh, like little bits and baubles all kind of around it. Um, but she extremely thin, probably in like her late nineties. Um, you see, uh, you see the um, the gentleman uh, help her up the stairs and over to you all. Uh, assuming you all make room for them. Uh, you see the woman kind of just nod, and you see um, uh, in like one hand holding her up, the other hand you see him unlocking the hotel, opening the door, and uh, guiding her in, closes the door behind him, locks it behind him. It is noon right now. About five minutes goes by. See him come to the door, open it. Just kind of uh, make a uh, gesture as to come on in. And leads you down a long staircase. Uh, you see there is a, uh, uh, there is a space in here that looks to be uh, essentially like a, uh, like a coat closet, um, but a little bit bigger. 
Um, and uh, you see in that, in that, uh, the odd sort of thing in that coat closet is a, um, is a figure that you've only maybe seen, I think some of you might have seen maybe once. Uh, uh, let's see, probably, maybe Audra uh, and probably V as one who is interested in, in kind of going out and playing games and whatnot. Uh, there is a, uh, a place in Salem Willows Park uh, that has a figure that looks something like this. Um, you see it is a depiction of a, uh, like a mannequin uh, that is in a glass case. Uh, uh, you see a uh, interesting sort of looking like headdress um, that kind of rests uh, back down the shoulders and a very similar looking shawl. Um, you see there is a there's a kind of uh, machine sort of uh, piece like set up on the bottom end and a uh, and it looks like a little slot. Slot itself looks about just about the size of a card. I reach forward and slide my card in there. Just take a step back. Slide your card in. You see, the door opens uh, behind, uh, which should just look like a wall. Uh, and as you all uh, are starting to go through, um, we'll speed over past that, and uh, you sit around a table where there is a uh, there is a wow, that same woman is seated at the uh, very end of it and the uh, and the uh, gentleman that uh, you most of you met uh, sits at the other end glad you all can make it um, Wasn't sure if you were all going to be here, so I appreciate it. Uh, there is uh, a lot to discuss, um, and uh, we'll, you'll always be okay with uh, having to back out if you need to, but uh, I'll say uh, just to kind of start things off before my, uh, before my grandmother explains things, welcome to Candela Obscura. And with that, we will end tonight's session.